Welcome back to Sekiro, everyone. That was a weird way to say, welcome back to Sekiro. All right, first thing we need to do is figure out where the woman is who wants rice. That's a good question, you know, that is a good question. Uh, I don't think it's, well, fuck, she was right at the, s no, but God damn it, I have no idea. She was after... No, I think she was before this. God damn. After you sneak through the window, before those... Yeah, before the Twin Blade dudes. So I think this... This one is the closest. As in this checkpoint. There isn't one directly uh, at where she is, I think. Okay, fuck. That did not go according to plan. Did not plan on immediately getting noticed. But hey. Is the boy making a run for it? Hell fucking yeah. Yeah, just lose interest, please. Gracias. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, we know, we know. Oh, yeah, yeah, rice, rice, rice. Give rice. She likes that shit, don't she? Oh, she's just eating it raw? God damn. Just cook it first. And she's immediately gonna fall asleep. I ought to just kick her ass off. If it's fresh fruit, you want fly a ki Oh, the kite! Wind the puppet, fly a kite. I'm liking where this is going. I am liking it. She's like... Is this ecstasy that we just gave her? Did you just pop a molly? Because it sounds like she's like... Orgasming here. Okay. Oh, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. Cool. Something people have told me. Actually, what am I doing? I always forget to just have this as in the Homeward Idol. Uh, let's go to back to the dilapidated temple. It's been a while since we've been there. It seems only fitting to go back every once in a while. Plus, I think I can upgrade some shit. So yeah, oh yeah, we have a new esoteric skill set, don't we? For the Senpu arts or whatever they're called and people also mentioned to me that I should confront the battle memories for two bosses that I haven't done yet I completely forgot that you need to do that to actually increase your attack power somehow I was under the impression that it just happens automatically but apparently it don't yeah enhance attack power The Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in shinobi techniques. These mentors employ strict methods. The cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Attack power has been enhanced and the monkeys as well. The halls of illusion lie on the threshold betwi betwixt. Out oh, betwixt. We're going with that. Life and death. Departed souls of the divine children drift and sway, taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple. Okay, so that's why. So we basically killed dead people. Already dead people. Alright then. Yeah. What you got? Uh, the Sabimaru, we have that. I'm like, once again, uncomfortably close to him. Oh, the memorial bo mob. 
Yeah, that's where I might be able to get more pellets. I like this dude. Yeah, that's where. Cool. I think that's worth, because I know where one is. Yeah, what we got? What do we got? Uh, spring loaded flame vent. Sounds nice, though. Nothing to fit. Cool. Wait, what happens if I talk to him? Does he have any new dialogue? It's one thing I've not been doing, is like properly talking to NPCs. I think he has said that before. Yeah. This is like, it seems like this is the Dark Souls route of Dark Souls 3, I mean, of NPCs only having one important line of dialogue. That might not be the case, but whatever. Cool. Uh, we need to go to the Ashina Castle Gate. This is the one. This is, I know there's a memorial mob here, and I want to buy more pellets. So we're going to be doing some teleporting around here. And then we'll continue in Sempo. Well, is there even somewhere to continue in Sempo Temple? Well, I could go do the kite thing. Is that really the boss, quote-unquote, of Sempo Temple? That was kind of easy, the monkeys. Sure, puzzle boss, but still. I know of one other path, at least, so... There's probably way more that I'm missing. Does this dude have anything? Oh, he's gone. At Sunken Valley entrance, much activity near Great Serpent Shrine. The tango has rats to see, too. Okay. Sunken Valley Great Serpent Shrine. That to me is... Well, because we've seen the Great Serpent. But then Sunken Valley... I said that weird. Sunken Valley is a different place, isn't it? There you are. I like their... <laughs> I like these dudes in their little tents. Oh, fuck. He doesn't sell... Seriously? He doesn't sell? Okay, we'll get a heavy coin purse then. I thought they sold... Uh, pellets. Fuck. I might have to go farming. I really don't want to go farming, but hey. If it's a must, I'll do it. Okay, next thing we got to do is check out that kite. Sempu Temple, uh, Mount Congo. That's the very first one. I haven't seen this one either. The Ledge Hang Death Blow. I know you can do it. I've seen it. It looks badass, but hey. It's all good. So hopefully, I can now interact properly with this guy. I don't know what I'm going to do with this dude. As in that dude up there is looking for that white pinwheel or something like that. I don't know where to get it for him. Whoa, okay. That works as well. Fly kite. Oh, it says something different because it just said draw in. Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait. No. But how? How do I get on it, though? Uh... Excuse? 
fuck. Can't grapple onto it. Because my other idea was that... Because there is a path there. So if I, you know, fly it out there... God damn it. You know what I mean. That I could have, like, gotten onto it from that ledge. But I guess not. Maybe... Sorry, buddy. I don't know what to do with you. Okay, that's weird. Uh, maybe we'll need to talk to her more. That divine child or whatever did say that... Uh, we can get more rice from her. Let's go back to Kuro's room. Because I feel like this is a significant thing that happened with me getting the mortal blade. The moron blade. And let's see what he says. Periodically worth checking in on NPCs, I think. Red eyes. We've seen them before, a couple. The ogre was like that. Too bad that di that hint didn't appear, or this hint didn't appear back then. All right, Kuro. What you got to say? Oh, there is one. Might be worth checking out. Okay. Because there was Sakura branches in there. Not branches, flowers, right? What up? Got a new sword. If only we could go back to the past with memories. Maybe we gotta find that. Oh, don't worry about that. Thank you, Fortnite. What about the sword? Yes. So we can commit Sudoku by it. Let's get some cinematic camera angles. Nah, that doesn't work. Damn, I thought he asked because he would have had some friends finally, but damn. 
That's even more depressing. Wonderful. That door marks with an outline of a person. Where the fuck is that? There is a door like that here. Cause I ain't seen it. Sorry about your decorations. Huh. A shinobi shortcut. Well, if there is one, I think I'm blind as a motherfucker. Let's have a look upstairs. This is the weirdest bonfire placement or checkpoint placement ever. I mean, it's like Dark Souls 3 where you kill the armor, Dragon Slayer armor, and then there's a fucking bonfire like within sight distance of the other one cool i have no idea where to go now my plan with the the you know with the kite failed so i think maybe i sure you can go through the window i know i'm like all over the place here but hey There's also a shinobi door in Senpu, not Senpu Temple, in the dilapidated Senpu Temple. Senpu. Senpu Temple is Senpu. There's a lot of warping around. I haven't done sh Fuck, we're 17 minutes in? God damn. Well, that's... That's a little bit shocking. Cause I, mainly because I ain't done jack shit so far. That's my dog. Alright, what up? Oh, there's a path here. Yeah, we'll get some rice. Cool. Okay, we've heard all that dialogue before, but there is. Oh no, this just leads back. Yeah, I'm stupid. Oh, you can go back there? That's kind of cool. Alright. I have a plan here. I assume that she doesn't run out of rice. So what if I keep giving the old woman more and more at least that's my you know plan get her fat and then maybe she'll tell us how to use the kite what the hell did you see that holy shit there's all sorts of like weird movement options in this game oh hello sorry about that I didn't notice you guys were here. I'm going to be completely honest. Shh. Didn't hear anything. Trust me. Nothing to see here. I swear I didn't know these two were down here. So these are the ones that noticed me, not the twin blade guys. That's even better. I was surprised that I was not getting chased too. Hello. Fuck. Damn, I really thought... I had like a plan and everything. Okay, well... That's a plan that did not work. So I'm gonna peace out here. Alright then, fuck it. 
We're going somewhere else. It is officially decided. One thing people have told me about is that, without spoiling anything, is that I apparently missed something. Some area here. Uh, way back in the beginning. Apparently there's some like ledge you can jump to and I missed it. Which I kind of do remember. There was a point where I was like, can you make that jump? And I kind of talked myself out of it because I was like, there's no way you can make that jump. But was that here? That's the question. I think it was. Pretty sure. Fucking hell, there's a lot of loading. Generally, this game loads okay. Although, holy... Okay, I was worried for a second there. I wonder if this dude is here. You know. The... You know the dude. You know which one I'm talking about. Was it always snowing this much? Or did the weather change? I think the weather might have changed a little bit. Because I sure as hell don't remember this much snow. Yeah, this is the place. Turn back if you value your life. You can't be had the headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. Yeah, this was the one. I do remember this. There's no way you can get over there though, can you? Oh... Secret passage. Tricky. This might just be like a side area or something. Yeah, I probably... I was so early on the game when I came here that I didn't even notice this ledge. You know. Okay, you can for sure make that, can't you? Well, okay, just chill out. Cool. Well, this is a new area. Probably gonna be OP as fuck over here because... Maybe you're meant to come here much earlier. Yeah, I didn't even, like, notice the ledge the first time I came through here. Probably because I was a noob. Which is completely understandable. This looks very much like... Okay. I'm like, oh, okay, it just leads back around, but is there like a secret? A secret way in. It looks like there is something. Don't, don't even ask me where the fuck I am. Because I have no idea. In relation, no, oh, come on. Stop. It's like controlling snake sometimes. Small animals can get fucked. This game is all about killing small animals. Antidote. Divine grass. We have that. Because we're still in Ashina. And I think I know where we are. Yeah, that's the... I was wondering... When we were gonna get that? Well, honestly, not even wondering. I completely forgot about the shortcut. Okay, well, that's cool. But going back to the cave. So I took the more obvious route. But, um. There's definitely more here. God, I love how fluid the movement is in this game. There's something there. Headless? It said like you can't defeat the headless. Hold on a second. Uh, which one do I like? It's like a monster, isn't it? So... What the fuck? What? Wait... I can't move. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is the status? 
I can't dodge. Holy shit, what the hell is going on here? It's that mist. Yeah. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Can you, like, interrupt that somehow? Terror? What the fuck is terror? Okay, avoid the projectiles. Oh, and he brings it with him. Wait, he does it through here as well with his attacks. Excuse me, game. I can't help but notice what the fuck am I supposed to do here. He produces like some dank smoke. What the hell? This must be like some puzzle or something. Okay. One thing I'm gonna try. I'll go back. I'll go back for sure. Let's try getting a backstab or a drop attack or whatever on him. That was kind of fucked up. One thing I really hate in these games is the fucking... Somewhere a pain cough rings out. One who seems to be a lost child. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. How did I rack up this much? <laughs> Dragon rot. It's okay. People have said that just kind of like tactically. If you're at a tough boss, it's worth to just wait with Dragon rot. I mean, the Unseen Aid. Yeah, I don't have that much with me right now anyways. Plus, I've got a ton of coin purses. So in terms of cash... It might, yeah, I think it's better to take the other path quicker. In terms of cash, I'm okay. So we might as well just, you know, struggle against the boss and cure the dragon rot once. Once we get through it. Which hopefully ain't gonna take long. What? Oh yeah, I have that, don't I? I keep getting shocked by what I got. It looks like it's facing us. Oh, god damn it. You can kind of strafe that, can't you? Yeah, you can strafe it. I don't know what the hell you do against his sword, though. Because that is a lot of build-up of this insta-kill move. Did you just rip out my heart? I think it did. Oh, you've got a perfect... If you perfect block, it doesn't. I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Yeah, okay. Well, this is fucked up. I hate insta-death mechanics, I hate Curse, I hate it Frenzy in Bloodborne, I... <sighs> I gotta try him again. Apparently you cannot get a stealth hit, maybe with a Gaijin, a Gaijin sugar. <sighs> it's, I don't mind, it's the, the sl... The slow and the insta-death are my two least favorite mechanics in Souls games. I'm gonna be honest with you. And it seems like this boss combines both, which is gonna be just wonderful. Uh, I can already tell this is the maddest I'm gonna get with this game. And I don't, don't even know what's coming in the future. Again, as I said, I also happen to notice that the boss took no damage. Oh, hello, just... yeah, never mind us. Stop. 
Sorry, sorry about that. But not sorry. I can insta kill these guys now. Yeah, you. Now you gotta be scared of me. Never seen a badass shinobi like this before. <clears throat> Oops. Fuck your furniture. Uh oh. I meant to jump there. Don't worry. That's what I meant to do. Much better. It's gonna cause me to lose a healing gourd, which I'm not happy about. But hey. See, the thing is, I'm thinking they gave us Gaijin sugars here. Which, you know, sometimes they give you stuff. Gaijin sugar. Let's make the boy disappear. I'm go all stealthy and shit. Jump from here. Yes. I knew it. Oh, are you kidding me? The Gaijin sugar didn't work. I cannot figure out his fucking... You not, not like there, there's something here I'm not getting. This cannot be serious. Like they cannot expect you to kill it. Yeah, no, this is I I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, we're we're leaving this boss the fuck alone. That's for sure. Uh, there must be something I'm not getting, like some ability I'm missing or. I don't know, but right now that was three attempts and I'm pretty salty. Probably the saltiest I've been in this game so far already, which is, it doesn't bode well if this is a mandatory boss. Okay. The monkey area is the other one I can think of where we might be able to make some progress. Sorry about this episode, kind of all over the place. How, what are you supposed to do? Like, the only thing you can do is learn all his attacks perfectly, right? But when he fucking... Which one is that? Uh, I don't know. Great Serpent Shrine, I think that's the one, maybe. Unless you learn all his attacks perfectly without fail, because... He literally terrors me in two hits, so I don't know. I'll take hints there if you got them. If there is like some trick, if that's a puzzle as well and I'm not getting it. Cool. Well. That didn't bode well so far, or hasn't boded too well so far, this episode. I don't know why it always gets stuck there. Oh, hello! This is where you are? Yeah, just teleported here, never mind. Ministry, rats. We've seen these dudes before. I have actually. What the hell? Of course I have. Okay, maybe there is something. Uh, let's see. Maybe through here. 
requires skills. I have six of them. Yeah, the Ashina arts. Ichimonji double. Breath of nature light. Recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow. Reduces the amount of... I think I've, I've gotten these, haven't I? Oh no, no, I have not. What have I gotten then? Because I got something like that. Praying strike. Successive elbow and arm strike. Oh, it's like some samurai. Not samurai. Some kung fu shit. Oh, these are the ones that I got. Niger slash. So you can stack them. Shinobi eyes. We got those. Suppress sound. Let's get suppressed sound because I like me some stealth. Ichimanji double, I'll get that because I like Ichimanji. I like Jumanji. What is this? Combat art using the mortal blade cause spirit emblems to use. L1 plus R1. Draw the moral blade and cut through enemies with an extended range sword attack. Okay, that might be. Motherfucker, I just mastered your secret technique. Oh, every last one. But he means kill them, doesn't he? I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Eel liver. Tasty. Alright then, let's go here. Where does this lead? I have no idea. I don't have too much time left in this episode either. Oh, is this the sunken valley though? Certainly looks sunken enough. Undershrine valley. Sounding more and more sunken valley-ish. That's for sure. I saw a dude here. Oh shit. Damn. I don't think so. That was unexpected. I thought they had just like spears, but nah, it's a, it's like a gun spear, a spear gun, but that's different. These dudes out here like playing Fortnite instead of fucking Sekiro, I swear. Sheena outskirt, overlooped. We've looked back to Ashina outskirts. Interesting. This is our easiest hell to kill though. Might not be saying that later. Oh, prayer beat, nice. Man, I make the best decisions sometimes in this game. Pacifying agent, powdered medicine for calming nerves, reduces terror buildup, and oh, it increases terror resistance. I did not know that. That it also increases resistance. Pacifying agent. That must be cold as fuck. Yeah, this. Let's get out of this water here. Well, there's nothing here. This was just for the prayer bead, which I am... Wait, no, no, no. Unless there is... There isn't. Which, the prayer bead, I am very, very happy about. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do here... Again, this has been, I feel like, the most useless episode ever, but... We learned some important lessons. Uh, the headless is kind of fucked up. That's the number one lesson here. 
I have some ideas now that I saw that this also reduces terror buildup. And also maybe the Mortal Blade, because isn't the whole point of the Mortal Blade, the Moron Blade, I should call it by its proper name, capable of slaying the Undying. Now, it doesn't get much more Undying than a dude with its head cut off that's still alive. So, maybe, just maybe, the Moron Blade will be the key here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.